Well, hello. Oh my god, what have I done? Jeez, we drafted the Gabbard. I should have drafted Ryan Mallet. Well, I'm joking, John 74. Here to bring you another episode of 32 Teams in 32 Days. And uh, here's the depth chart. And now we can. Oh my god. Can these guys even catch a beach ball? Did the coach even know that Tio was in the free agency? Come on, man. Really? Oh my god. I'm not, I'm not even going to pass with these guys. Yeah, Mac Thomas is the only one who can catch, but he's pretty small, 5'8. Right here, we got our pretty great tight ends, and uh, the O line is pretty good. Over 85 overall, that's what I like right there. Yep, pretty good O line. He's going to be able to run the whole day instead of passing, because Gabbard sucks. And the right end, you can have to put a uh, Campman, and the DTs, is, they're pretty good, so they won't be able to run down the middle pretty easily, because uh, they have a lot of strength. And the left outside linebacker is going to be Puslasny, middle is going to be Daryl Smith, because he has a lot of play recognition, right, end, right outside linebacker. It's gonna be clean session and the cornerbacks the we got a slow one but he can keep up as long as he's 88 speed and over. At safety we're gonna have Lowry and Landry. Uh, you can have to double think on Landry because he's pretty slow. And uh, pretty good special teams. Well this is how it's gonna go down in offense. First is going to be running with the ball. Second is going to be halfback draws. Third is gonna be halfback screens. Fourth is gonna be from Baruskis. and fifth is gonna be passing. Maybe passing because it's Blake Gabbard. Come on. So, yeah. Now we're going to start on defense. And, ooh, that could have been an interception. Come on, man. You were in yellow zone. Right here, I got him in the flats. And fumble. Everybody was getting to the ball very slowly. Maybe the guy was lagging. I don't know what the hell was going on. But the system was like, I don't know. The players were confused. They didn't know what to do with the fumble ball. And right here, I just caught in a, a little head back dive. Maurice Jones drew easily down the middle. I told you the O line is pretty good, so you can easily head back dive down the middle. And right here, I caught it in a par O on the left side because uh, he was overflowing the right side, like with random people. And I just pinched the O line and a touchdown. Maurice Jones drew doing a little dance. And now my defense, my defense was failing me for a while right here because uh, I don't know, my 3 4 wasn't working that well. And right here, number 29 decided like to give an autograph to the sidelines, but like, come on, man, stay in the game. So again, he does like a dead little run again. Easy five yards. My defense wasn't doing that pretty well in the beginning. Uh, they were getting massacred down the middle. I thought the DTs were gonna keep up and stuff. Night and come on, man. A Lulu, man, you're freaking strong. You're supposed to get him. And right here again, he does that little motion with the extra guy. And that was a weird formation too, because there was like a lot of offensive linemen on the left side. What kind of formation was that? I've never seen it in my life. And right here, I was just trying to put Landry over there so he can balance the defense, so he won't do like a little toss to the right side. And uh, right here, I stop him before he gets to the first down, third and fourth. I actually called in a, a little man zone right there in the previous play. And right here, you can easily tell it's going to be a run play because he uh, he audibled. You can see the receiver, receiver is reacting to the audible. And a stopped by Mincy. Mincy is actually a defensive end, but I put him as DT because he's pretty slow. And right here, I don't know what the hell was wrong with the yellow zones. They were all, like, panicking, I guess. They didn't want to cover. They just want to go home. But no, you get a game to play, you guys. And right here, I'm telling you, I, gotta, I forgot to put in the, uh, the outside guy. So he easily ran to the outside. And again, with the little motion, this guy was motioning me all day. What the hell is this problem? Hey, when people do that, and right here, oh, a little stop by Daryl Smith. I'm telling you, he has a lot of play recognition. He'll get there. Like sometimes when I'm playing with Daryl Smith, he like automatically moves to where the running back goes. Like he he thinks like real quick. So you might be thinking of looking at that like at, at the linebackers, cause uh, it it is pretty helpful. And right here, some I guess some guy was jerking the noodles, and they caught him, and uh, they gave him a flag. And now I'm starting from the nine. And here we go with the counter. Maurice Jones drew, taking it all the way almost. He only he had more speed than 92 speed. Imagine if it was Chris Johnson, I would have taken it all the way. But yeah, good job, Maurice Jones drew. And again, little head back dive right there, taking it easy, you know. First down, just go with the run every first down, and you'll be good, you know. Keep the clock running and stuff, so you won't panic on the next drive. And right there, Maurice Jones drew with a toss. He overflew the right side. Cause he was playing man and uh touchdown. It was if it was zone I'll audible it to a uh, little slants with the receivers so it would be a quick pass and the square would be open. Right here, a uh, little 
And, oh my god. Right here, they burn Landry. I'm telling you guys, you should double think on Landry because uh, he's pretty slow. I mean, he, I know he used to be fast, but he, yeah, he's pretty slow. And uh, I don't know. I was thinking of taking off Landry halfway down the game, but I didn't lift him there because I know he can hit. And right here, Mercedes Lewis catches it, 30 inches. And uh, Marie Jones Drew down the middle. Great blocking from the old line. I'm telling you, this old line is pretty good, pretty decent. Better than the Giants' old line because um, it has a whole balance of offensive linemen. So, and right here, uh, Miller was going to be open because uh, he kept putting safety down, but apparently Gabbard overthrew it. He doesn't have a lot of deep accuracy. Dumb Gabbard. Well, I don't know why they drafted him. So right here, I threw it to circle, but he didn't catch it. I guess he had, he had a lot of butterfingers. And again, he puts the safety down. His, he wants to over, over blitz, but he this is what happens when you over blitz. Miller's over there, open to send him to the street because he's pretty fast, 86 speed, six foot four. So yeah, they have pretty decent tight ends in the Jaguars. And uh, right here, he decides to drops it. I don't know why. I guess he was in a bad mood, not having a good day. So I went for the field goal, so, so I can won't risk it. At least be seven points ahead. So now we go to the second half. Right here, so almost catches it, and I got roughing the. They got roughing the passer. I mean, I never thought that it could actually happen now, cause uh, you know Madden doesn't give out like freaking passing interference penalties. And right here, Maurice Jones Drew when it goes down, he went down like for a quarter, I think. So I had to start Jennings. He was pretty slow, pretty darn slow. And right here, oh my God! And uh, I didn't know that you can use your use your bump. The, uh, the opponent's receiver I thought he wasn't going to bump and that's why I just threw it but apparently it didn't work so yeah um, I was doing terrible with my 3-4 against this guy I had to I had to adjust later on in the game and right here I put a tallest guy in the third string where basically it's going to be open because you can either lob it up or you can throw it like straight so yeah it could either work either way because he's pretty tall Right here, my old one was fading on me. They weren't doing like pretty well. And right here, he's going to prevent. So, oh, circle's going to be open. And who? Oh my God! Really? How was this guy considered a first rounder? Cause any, can anybody tell me why was this guy a first rounder? Why did you have to bring Gabbard instead of Ryan Mallet? I mean, come on, really, Gabbard? Jesus. And again, right here, Daryl Thomas with the play recognition, he automatically moves to where the running back goes. So, uh, so yeah, I suggest him to put it like, to put him as a middle linebacker because he's pretty good at recognizing the place. And right here, it was my fault. I took off that yellow, the the guy who was in yellow zone. If I would have left him there, it would have been a pick. So yeah, that was my fault. And right here, getting negative yards. And uh, again, my old end wasn't reacting well. And uh, third and twenty. And right here, a miracle cast by Robisky. Unbelievable. Six foot three Robisky. 68 overall. You know I'm playing with the most terrible receivers of the NFL. The previous, over oh, right here, Robisky is open again. What's with this? What's up with this defense? He doesn't notice. Quickly calling a quick pass, and uh, Robisky is open. Could have been a touchdown. But I, I, I wanted to waste the time, so that's why I. Let him tackle me right here. Nobody was gonna tackle me, so I was like, "What the hell is everybody?" So I had to score. Their interception. And this guy is already like panicking and stuff. He was already going for all-out passes. I mean, he was running throughout the whole first half, and you know, right now it's supposed to be passing mode because it's two minutes into the fourth quarter. And uh, go for a field goal, not to risk it again, because he stopped me three and out. And uh, he tries for to score before the, the time runs out and no a bunch of fails and right here I don't know what the hell's wrong with Coleman Coleman was eating a potato bag I guess and good deflection by 52 yep and no nothing man this defense finally responds better than the Colts way better than Lacey I mean Lacey was getting burned like left to right right here this is the final play of the game Incomplete, deflected down. Yep, a W for me. Well, that's all for now. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, visit the website for more videos and tips, and sign up for the forums to get daily tips. Thank you for your view.